Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am in a completely different spot right now and I am in my new car. If you guys follow me on social media, you know that I did purchase my very first car on my own. It was like, it was my second car, but my first one was given to me. So this is like my first car that I've bought for myself. No co-signers, nothing, all in my name. So I'm going to be sharing tips and tricks for you guys for buying a new car. So I'm going to be sharing those tips with you guys. I'm also going to be doing a mini car tour. I will probably do a bigger one very soon. I just don't have a lot in my car right now. I just want to show you guys the like tech specs that I have in my car as well as what my car is. Anyways, that is what we are filming today. If you guys want to see a car tour video, then make sure to thumbs up this video and let's see if we can get it to a hundred likes. If you guys are new to my channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to become an official expert and join the Lex Babe fam. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So here is what the Black Dragon looks like. All right, so welcome to the inside of my car. Here's just an overview of the very front. This is just what it looks like. Here is my steering wheel, my speedometer, my radio, AC, and my aux cords, and then the glove box, which is huge, and that is pretty much the inside of the front of my car. So first, right here, I can control my radio, so the modes pretty much turn it from radio to media to AM to FM to stat and to serious. Um, I love it so much. I can also turn up the volume or turn it down. And then these buttons right here, if I have something playing via Bluetooth or even aux cord, I can change it through here so that I don't have to pick up my phone, which honestly is so handy. Right here is my hands-free talking, so I can just click right here and it'll ask me to say a command. And then I can also answer the phone here here and end a call here as well. So it makes it so I have hands-free calling and I do not have to pick up my phone and it is honestly so much safer. And then here is my radio console. So then right here I have my AC. This is my passenger airbag. This only comes on when someone is actually in my car. I can also activate eco, which is really great. So down here, I do have an aux cord, a USB, and then two of these little lighter volt things. But here is the back seat, just a basic back seat <laughs> windows. And I also did buy a trash can because I am that person who buys a trash can and puts it in their car. So trash isn't everywhere. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is going in prepared. Buying a car honestly is a day long trip and you are it's a roller coaster I'm telling you it's not as easy as everyone makes it seem so I'm going to talk about some things to help prepare yourself for when it comes to going and buying your first car so my first tip for you guys is to have a budget now my budget going in was making sure I don't spend over 15,000 on a car or even look at cars that are over 15,000 but of course once you get there and you start testing out some cars looking at cars as well as as testing the financial aspect of it your price point may go down depending on how much you can put down on a car and how much you want to pay per month or how good your credit is so make sure you go in with a budget have a realistic budget my second tip for you guys is to pick out your top five cars so having your top five cars picked out is going to make it a lot easier whenever you don't get approved for the car that you really want then you know you do have a other options and that you're gonna eventually walk off the lot with something my third tip is to pick whether you're going to go to a certain dealership or a buy here pay here place so I went to a buy here pay here and that was CarMax um, they were super affordable and they worked with me so well now you could go to a dealership like Honda Acura then you have like Jeep you have Range Ro Land Rover Ford Hyundai it just really depends on what car you want now they probably do have the buy here pay here or the pre-owned cars at their dealerships as well so it just kind of depends I would shop around so just kind of figure out whether you want to go to a dealership or a buy here pay here ship 
place. My fourth tip for you guys is to get car insurance quotes. So with your top five cars, make sure to go ahead and enter the VIN numbers and go ahead and insert that into any type of car insurance place. I would just figure out which insurance place is going to work best for you and then take your top five cars and insert those VIN numbers along with any additional drivers and just pretty much fill out all your information and get your quote. I find that doing that helps you better prepare for what your insurance is going to be per month as well as when you get to the dealership how much your car is going to be per month so you can figure out if you can afford it or if it is just way out in la la land and you definitely can't do it my fifth tip to you guys is to figure out whether you're going to be trading in your current car if you have one or putting a down payment down on your new car i would just figure out if you do have a car if you're going to be trading that in and pretty much what the cash value is of that car you can take it to the dealership they can appraise it for you and kind of figure out what it could be worth towards your car so it just kind of depends whether you want to put down your own money or trade it in that is completely up to you it's just kind of your preference so my sixth tip to you guys is to figure out whether you're going to have a co-signer or you are going to have everything in your name me I personally put it in my name because I have good established credit I had a down payment and and I kind of wanted to take full responsibility. So kind of figure out, especially credit-wise and age-wise, if you are under 18, you will need a co-signer, or if you don't have any credit at all and your APR is really high, then definitely go with a co-signer. Again, it just kind of depends on your financial need and what you can get when they do the finance application. So making sure you have credit, it kind of, honestly, it really does tie into figuring out if you're going to need a co-signer or not. The lower the APR, the less it is a month and the less you have to put down, which honestly is really good. So just remember to stay positive and no matter what, do not, and I mean do not, get into a car and buy a car that you do not love. That's pretty much all of my tips and tricks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see a full car tour, then a thumbs up this video. And let's see if we can get it to 100 likes. If you're new to my channel, then make sure to hit the cool red button down below to become an official X-Wave and join the X-Wave fam. And if you have not hit the bell yet, make sure to hit it to turn on post notifications so you guys get notified whenever I upload new videos. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!